What? I prefer to put it bluntly, he blew it. Like Newcastle, Middlesbrough had played their football in the first division last season. They came to Elland Road fresh from a good win over Wolves. Chris Fairclough had recovered and started the game. Vinnie Jones was on the bench but involved. John Hendry went close in an early attack. Bobby Davison even closer. Three minutes to Davison. It looked like a cross and should have been safe. It ended up in the back of the net. A gift. He'd scored in the opener and now made it two in two with a precise finish. Leeds were denied a second by a goal line clearance. And then by the woodwork. United piled on the pressure. Borough battled back in the second half with the best goal of the match, a proper one. Leeds keeper Mervyn Day punched out a free kick from Parkinson. Straight to Alan Comfort, who beats him with a superb volley for his first Middlesbrough goal. But then surprisingly conceded the equaliser. Jones immediately became a cult figure with the fans. Some style which suggested a lack of finesse, they would be pleasantly surprised as the season unfolded. Jones's influence was obvious. His colleagues responded. He'd raised the tempo. It looked as though the points would be shared until injury time. Pull back Gary Parkinson, pass back to his keeper. Oops is one word to describe it. Others are not transmittable. Well, the stunned Borough players couldn't believe it. Leeds celebrated. So did the fans. They thought Christmas had come four months early. Very much in doubt when Davison chased his through ball. The lead striker never reached the pass. Parkinson did, and the cruelest bounce of the season favoured United, and that all-important first victory was secured. Bruce Rioch accepted defeat in courteous fashion. He wouldn't see out the season at Ayrson Park, but United's followers already felt that this would be their year. Celebrations had already begun. Something else. Palister has become.